Okay, guys, so like six times the charm. So um, I hope you guys can see and hear me okay. Uh, let's try this one more time. We're gonna make a turkey ring tonight. One of my favorite things to make with leftover turkey is the cranberry turkey ring. So if you go to my website, www.pamperchef.biz forward slash Maniscalco Kitchen, um, you could type in cranberry turkey and it'll come up or type in ring and it'll come up or wreath, it'll come up, okay? So first things first, the turkey. So this is um, leftover turkey from my team night um, on Monday and I just cubed it and uh, there's about two to three cups of cooked turkey, okay? So then what we're gonna do is we're going to add, um, sorry, we're over here. <laughs> a mess tonight. Hey Sarah, how are you? Okay, so we're gonna add, um, <sighs> we're gonna add the mayonnaise. So we have a half a cup of mayonnaise. All right, we're making a cranberry turkey ring, you guys. Half a cup of mayonnaise, we're gonna do two tablespoons of honey Dijon mustard. So I'm gonna use my little measuring cup guy here. He's so cute. Look at this. So I used my measure all. This is the one cup measure all uh, for my mayonnaise. And then this is the uh, little guy. This is like a quarter of a cup. All right, I hope it, you guys can hear me and see me okay. It says my connection weak again. Okay. So here we go. Then we're gonna do some black pepper. Yay, hi. Hi everybody. Black pepper with our grinder. We have some amazing new grinders, so check that out on my website. Um, and then we're gonna do, let's see, we're gonna add the celery and the cranberries. Here we go. So I have some celery, I already chopped it up. <laughs> I chopped it up with our manual food processor. So there's our celery, super fun, right? Just a couple stalks and just throw it in there and chop it all up. You didn't miss anything, Christine. I um, was having some internet issues, so I've been trying to do this video for a little bit now. So here we go. So we have some mayonnaise, some mustard, some celery, some black pepper, and some turkey, cooked turkey, okay? So this is a great recipe to do after Thanksgiving, like the weekend of Thanksgiving, when you have all those leftovers. Um, so the last thing I'm going to do is add some of my Swiss cheese. So remember, you always want to grate your Swiss cheese. I get it by the, the block, and here's our coarse grater. It's adjustable, so you can adjust it this way. It comes with a little tool. You can do it flat, or you could do it right on the, the thing there. So always by the, by, the, um, by the block, and then just grate it yourself. It'll come out better. It'll melt better. It'll taste better. It'll... Um, it's cheaper. Yes. And then if you um, buy the big blocks of like cheddar or Monterey Jack, buy the big, big blocks and then just uh, shred it all and then stick it in freezer Ziploc bags and freeze it. And then it'll stay good. For hey guys, can you see me now? Lord help me with this, um, this internet. I'm trying to get this done here. All right. So if you guys see it. So I have my turkey, my cheese, my cranberries, celery, mayonnaise, mustard, some Dijon mustard that is, and some black pepper. Okay, so this is what you could do with your leftover turkey. All right, now we're going to make our ring. All right, so let me get this stuff out of here. And I'm going to try to hang you guys back up over here. You might not like it. You guys, this is stressful. Anybody out there stressed out? I am. All right, so here is our rock rock stone. Love this thing, and I've greased it. So I put some vegetable oil on there, okay? Ooh, did you wake up, buddy? <laughs> My dog's awake. Oh, by the way, I need to add some walnuts, okay? Just gonna add some of those. Just add the bag. I mean, you guys, I never measure. Is that a bad thing? Does anybody out there actually measure their food when they cook? I mean, when you're baking, you have to. But when you're cooking, you don't have to, right? All right, let me run through the ingredients again. Mayonnaise, Dijon, mustard, black pepper, turkey, celery, 
cranberry, Swiss cheese, and um, walnuts. And then I have an egg, and uh, we are gonna brush the top of it when we're done, okay? So you always wanna make sure your crescent rolls stay cold before you handle them, okay? So I have two rolls of crescent rolls here. All right. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do the ring, okay? This is the easiest one, and it's so delicious. You could put anything you want in here. You could do uh, mayonnaise, mustard, uh, ham and cheese, like, uh, like cheddar cheese, and then you could do like bacon, or you could do broccoli, that's the chicken broccoli braid. Uh, you could do dill seasoning. I mean, you could do whatever you want. You could stuff it with um, the taco meat and make a taco ring. So there's a lot of different things you can do. All right, so what you wanna do is take your crescent um, rolls and you wanna do like a sundial, okay? So take the first four. I hope you guys can see and hear me okay. Cause it says it's wheat. I'll tell you what, if I had a dollar for every time I said that, I'd be rich. All right, so here we go. So we have four. Do you guys see that? All right. And I got like the reduced sodium ones, so they may look a little different, but whatever, they'll still taste amazing. So what do you guys like to do with your leftover um, turkey from Thanksgiving? Anybody out there want to share? So look, I'm just going to put three triangles in between each of the four original okay so this is how we build a ring are you guys with me hi everybody i know it's friday it's uh 5 45 you guys are probably just getting home from work oh wait no it's a veterans day so maybe some of you didn't work um shout out to all the veterans out there Okay, so three in between each dial. All right. You guys, this is so simple. I remember um, my first year of Pembroke Shop, everybody was making these, and I was like, oh my gosh, that looks so hard. And then I watched a YouTube video, and I figured it out, and it's the simplest thing ever. Okay, so you guys see this? I'm going to tilt you down a little bit. So we have all of our press and rolls like, in a ring, as you can see. Hold on. I'm gonna pull it closer. Let me just draw my hands. How are you guys? Turkey soup, turkey sandwiches. Yes, yes, and yes. Okay, so let me show you this. Do you guys see that? So you do the four original ones, like a clock or a sundial, and then just put three of them in the middle of each, if that makes any sense. And then you could take our little roller here, and you could roll out our, your ring. So you can make it a little bit wider to put that food on. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. Okay, so just roll it out. Or you could use your hands, whatever you want to do. All right, so that's good. Then what you're going to do is just take, and I have a little scooper. Sometimes that makes it easier. So just take your mixture of turkey, Swiss cheese, fresh freshly grated Swiss cheese, cranberries, black pepper, walnuts, um, what else is in here, Dijon mustard, and some mayonnaise, and some celery. Like I said, there's tons of recipes you guys can do. This just happens to be what I'm doing tonight because I had some leftover turkey from my team training on Monday night. We had a big holiday feast. It was amazing and delicious all at the same time. So I thought I'd make, um, a turkey ring with the leftovers. All right, here we go. So I might have doubled the cheese, no judging. Um, I love cheese, so yeah, that happened. Um, I don't know whoever uses like just four ounces of cheese, that should be illegal. Um, yeah, so here we go. So my mixture might be a little bit more than what you come out with. This is so good, you guys. See, when you use the scoop, it's easier to kind of, um, yeah, mm -hmm, what I'm trying to say. When you use the scoop, it's easier to, to spread out a little bit. Okay, so we'll put a little bit more over here. You guys see this okay? 
I'll show you in a second what it looks like before I throw the things around. All right, here we go. Get all of that deliciousness. I'll oh, just use my finger. All right, here we go. Mmm, so delicious. All right, so let me pull this over here. You guys see that? Okay. Now, what you're gonna do is just pull the ends in. That's it. Okay. Have you guys ever made a ring before? Anybody out there? What's your favorite one? I've made the um, the Reuben ring. That one's really good with turkey and sauerkraut and um, Thousand Island dressing. So good. So do you guys see this? I'm just pulling all of those points inside and kind of tucking them under. Okay. Anybody out there make a ring before? Taco one is also my favorite. All right, so now that it's all, I'm gonna show you guys one more time, hold on. Get it all in there. All right, and I like to press it down a little bit, just because. All right, so let me show you what this looks like. And if you see, I have a little bit of cheese left over. I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that. So my oven, by the way, is on 375. Do you guys see that? Yeah, so good. And we're gonna take my egg that I, okay, and no judging here, look at this. This is my basting bottle brush from the barbecue. I can't find my basting brush. Apparently I need another one. So we're just gonna brush this and it's gonna make it nice and golden. And it's also gonna help that cheese um, stick to the top, make a nice crust. And then this is gonna bake for about 25 to 30 minutes or until the crescent rolls are nice and golden brown. Yay, Missy, yeah, that's my favorite too. Um, but the chicken club wrap is really good too. It's chicken and bacon and then you throw tomatoes and lettuce and all that stuff on top. Um, avocado, so good. But the turkey, uh, the turkey cranberry and the taco one is really delicious too. All right, and you can make up your own. Put whatever you want inside of it, okay? Okay guys, so then all I'm gonna do is sprinkle the rest of this cheese. I have a lot of cheese, let me eat some. Mm-hmm, delicious. Don't worry, I got the stuff that didn't touch the egg. <laughs> all right, so, did I get all of my ingredients? You guys, look what I found at the store today. Uh-huh. Um, a happy, my, this makes my heart happy. I couldn't even get it out. This is amazing, so my favorite. Okay, so now those of you that wanna get me a Christmas gift and don't know what to get, this'll do. <laughs> Okay, here's our ring. Isn't that fun? Okay, you guys. So we're gonna put this in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes or until the crescent roll is golden brown. And um, I'll share pictures when it's done. Okay, so I hope you guys have a great night and a great weekend. Happy Veterans Day and um, go hug a veteran. Okay, bye guys.